Can ISF filings be submitted for goods that are transported via international air courier services with hazardous materials? Welcome back to our customs brokerage video series. In today's episode, we will be discussing a common question asked by importers, can ISF filings be submitted for goods that are transported via international air courier services with hazardous materials? When it comes to importing goods into the United States, compliance with customs regulations is crucial. The Importer Security Filing, also known as ISF, is an important requirement that importers must fulfill. However, there are specific rules and considerations when it comes to hazardous materials and international air courier services. Let's dive deeper into this topic. Firstly, it's important to understand that the ISF filing is generally required for goods transported via ocean freight. However, there are exceptions and special cases where ISF filings may be required for goods transported via international air courier services, including shipments containing hazardous materials. Importing hazardous materials requires adherence to strict safety and security regulations. Therefore, if you are importing goods with hazardous materials via international air courier services, you may still need to submit an ISF filing. This is to ensure that the necessary information regarding the shipment and its contents is provided to customs authorities. It's crucial to note that the ISF filing requirements for air courier shipments with hazardous materials may differ from those for ocean freight shipments. The timeline for submitting the ISF filing, as well as the specific data requirements, may vary. Therefore, it is recommended to consult with a customs broker or freight forwarder with expertise in handling hazardous materials to ensure compliance with all regulations. To submit an ISF filing for goods transported via international air courier services with hazardous materials, you will need to gather specific information. This includes details about the importer of record, the seller or manufacturer, the buyer, the consolidator or carrier, the manufacturer's facility information, and more. Additionally, you will need to provide accurate and detailed information about the hazardous materials being shipped. This includes the proper classification, identification numbers, packaging details, and any necessary supporting documentation such as safety data sheets. It's worth mentioning that importing hazardous materials also requires compliance with other relevant regulations, such as those set forth by the Department of Transportation DOT, and the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration PHMSA. Therefore, working with a knowledgeable customs broker who specializes in hazardous materials shipments is highly recommended to ensure full compliance with all applicable regulations. In conclusion, while ISF filings are primarily associated with ocean freight shipments, there are circumstances where ISF filings may be required for goods transported via international air courier services, especially when hazardous materials are involved. Compliance with customs regulations and safety requirements is of utmost importance. Ensure that you gather all the necessary information and work with a customs broker or freight forwarder who can guide you through the process. That wraps up today's video. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you found this information helpful. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. Disclaimer note below. Until next time, take care and happy importing!